feel a little out of place being ELL and like being in this mm-hmm. program and not really like speaking another language and that mm-hmm. barrier, but just being open to their culture and their language. I think like you um, teach me a little something. Like, like it doesn't only you. go like one way. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. We can share. Like, we yeah. can share. We can I share. Love it. I'm sharing sure. cultures. I mean, like, I think the way. Any other ideas? Nope. We're going to move on to the video or actually or question for either or. or. I just had a quick question about at your post, Abby. And as I it's S I O P, right? Yeah. <laughs> my question had to do with um, <clears throat> the different like levels associated with it or the stages. Okay. And I'm just curious which one um, out of the what, four stages four. Uh, which you thought was the most vital. Um, I can't, I don't necessarily think that there's one that's more vital than the other because they are a process. Yeah. Um, I feel like for me personally, I think the very, or the second stage is what I find to be most important because I mean, Kenji. Yeah. Which way I really enjoyed one. watching this video. Um, he knew a lot. That was for sure. I felt he know what he was talking about and he's talked about things in a really straightforward way. Yeah. yeah. So for the common core standards, like, and I was, this is something that I touched base with um, just slightly yesterday with the ELL specialist at Frost Mm -hmm. um, was just like, I just bleeped all over my computer. Oh, Oh, yeah. That's disgusting. (laughs) Anyways, um, like when it comes to the common core standards and like, the ELL, the ELL students who don't know how to do the things such as discuss or analyze or explain or formulate or I don't even know if that's a word for that. <laughs> but like all of those different <laughs> things that the core, the, what are they called? Common, Common core, core is like requiring these students to do is like something that these students are not capable of doing yeah. yet. Yeah. And I get really aggressive about that because yeah. I feel like more people, more teachers, more school districts, more everything need to realize that that is not okay. Well, yeah. it's, well it's, it's more than just districts recognizing. They can't really do much about it. It's more so the government recognizing. Yeah, they I agree. Those standards. Well, the government is literally setting them up for them. Well, like, it's like, you, you guys, I mean, I feel like everyone's heard that quote, you know, if you judge a fish by how well it can climb a tree, it's going to spend its whole life thinking that it's stupid. Or it's, you know, or it's, it's incapable. It's incapable. So, uh, yeah, I know, <laughs> Italian, I, know. I love it so much. So, uh, I want to write a letter to the government and be like, they're um, fish, they can't cut yeah. trees! And Common Core, like, on. it's not countrywide. Like, no. you, states adopt it, and mm-hmm. they don't have to. And Washington State happens to adopt Common Core. And um, I like, think that one thing that's that it really hit home in his discussion um, was. Just the idea that, okay, these standards are great, but the time frame is so skewed and uh-huh. so off of what it needs to be. Yeah. These kids, you know, are, it takes like seven years to learn a language yeah, at years. the level that they yeah. need to be performing on these standardized yeah. tests. Yeah, yeah. within like a year, they're supposed to be like proficient. Yeah, it's like, is that. It's, over, yeah. it's like it's a no child. It's like the no child left behind. Like yeah. great intention. I see the purpose behind it, but totally it's, it's, it's one important. thing to reference the Common Core standards. Like I feel like that's important. Like it's an important thing to try to like move with. Mm-hmm. But like making them standards that all yeah. students have to that are like, measured. Yeah. Like, exactly. Like yeah. that's all students, despite like where the issue comes into play. Like it's one thing to use it and like. Do your darndest to like well, get where it wants you to be, and I think it should be definitely. I feel like it should be inspiration, and that I mean it should be like an honest effort to follow the standards. Yeah. But and you know it should be measured in that like you know administrative mm-hmm. officials come in and like observe you and interview you and ask okay how are mm-hmm. you applying these, but not so much to the point where it affects the students. Yeah. So okay. then it, I think this kind of connects to the point that you brought up before we start recording. Um, about our opinions on the Common Core State Standards and, you know, what yeah. would be an alternative mm-hmm. to yeah. something like this. Because obviously there are standards that students have yeah. to meet. I feel like there should be, like, standards, but if you don't meet them, you should be able to, like, write a letter. Like, listen, this is why my students <laughs> didn't meet this. Like, they were in all these situations. I don't know, because there's, like, no room for explanation. If you don't cut it, then, 
oh, sorry, go find it. Like, that's it. That's what you don't understand. Yeah, and it's like, but there's so much more than just, like, not passing it. Like, these, every student has, like, a story as to why maybe they did it. Maybe yeah. they just moved here this school year, speaking no yeah. English, and they're in fifth grade. They have to pass, like, a science test. But they can't speak any yeah, English. Yeah, totally situation. Yeah, yeah, and I feel like well, you should be able to, like, explain your case. And I feel like all the resources and time and um, energy you put into you know, creating standardized tests for Common Core. Mm-hmm. Um, like maybe that, maybe all those resources could be going instead to like mm-hmm. um, resources or, you know, to programs that help mm-hmm. heal up and like. Well, I think and, even just, uh, I keep interrupting, I'm sorry. Yeah, I think even just showing like um, student progress. Yeah. Um, I was talking to a practical teacher, there's goals that she has to set. It's like, no, uh, look at this student, like, here two years ago, look at where she is now. Yeah. Like, and she's improved over this course of time. She may not be the common, the common core standard yet, mm-hmm. but look at how well that she's been improving. Yeah, I think like that's that, important. Too. That's way more important than yeah, because you know. students develop at completely different levels, and expecting all of them to be at the same level in the same grade at the same different. time is like yeah. ridiculous. Like in my practicum, there would be so there was like a student who could barely read, and this was third grade. She was reading at like a kindergarten level, and then there were other people reading at fifth grade level. And it's like expecting them to be in the same class and be able to pass the same test yeah. is ridiculous. Well, and, and then they're even like, oh no, Johnny, you can't check out the yeah. blue book. You're only allowed yeah, to read books. Makes sense. It makes the students who are more behind feel like even more behind. And then they feel helpless and they don't yeah. want to try. Like, what because, if I want to read a fucking blue yeah, book? What yeah. if I want to challenge myself today? Mm-hmm. You're telling me yeah. I can't because I'm at a kindergarten reading level. Yeah, and, they're, and it's just like, and then they're like, oh, well, the person next to me is, you know, reading this chapter book, why can I only read this small little picture book? Mm-hmm. Like, you know, it just, like, furthers that divide in the classroom. And, middle, and I feel like elementary school kids don't quite have a filter, so they'd be like, hey, yeah, Susie, don't. why do you have a yeah. chapter book and I don't? Like, oh, Johnny, because you're dumb and you yeah. can't read. Well, we were working one time. <laughs> I don't know. One time we were working on <laughs> typing, and there was this girl who passed all of, the, all of the typing levels, and then this guy at the same exact table was on the same level ever since I got there in January and when I left in March. Never passed that level. Aww. And this girl next year would pass like seven a day. Wow. And within like a, like a few weeks, she was like, yeah, well done. I finished all, up to level like 150. And this guy was on level 12 the entire mm-hmm. time. And every single day that I was there, he would get so defeated. And yeah. he would just be like, look at her. Like, how is she whizzing through this so fast? I'm over here and can barely uh-huh. like type this. And it's so hard to... to, to <laughs> Yeah. Establish that with students, like we all are in different places, we all have different. But I need you all to be here by this test time. Yeah, but like, but like you'll get there. Yeah, like we're all we all develop different levels, but by the time test comes, we'll all be the same. Yeah, yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. I uh, I think we talked about this one time. There's a test and I can't remember what it's called. That the questions change based on the student's the answer. Test, isn't it? Huh? The math test. Oh, the, isn't it like the new version of the Wassel, but on it's a, yeah, I think Yeah, it's like an electronic version yeah. of the Wassel, and the, the questions get harder yeah. because all the yeah. students yeah. Co- get yeah. correct, and it gets easier with yeah. more that they don't answer correctly, yeah. which I think is a better way of showing, here's what the student knows. Yeah, than just like a standardized, okay, you have four mm-hmm. bubbles, choose one. Yeah, we have yeah. Them, and we're like, hey, and I was like, yeah, it's like, you, you have a few extras, like, can we have some? Like, it's like, literally, all of us were like, maybe... Five points away, mm-hmm. or like five, like between yeah. five and twenty points tops. Mm-hmm. And he was like, "No, sorry, it's like this is my, you know, this is my, mm-hmm. my expectation, and you know, you guys didn't meet it." I feel like in but the states, he was grades like, are like, I mean, like meeting expectations here is such like a big thing, and like everyone's like, "Don't show people your grades, cool. don't tell people what you got." Like, yeah. yeah, it's such a secret thing. But like in other countries, they'll just like read like, your grades out. They're like, "Okay, you gotta be C, like in front of the entire class." Yeah. Cool. But Project Computer did that, and I was like, what are you doing? Yeah, see, yeah, but here it's, like, such this thing that, like, we make it, like, something that is so secretive, and, like, you know, and it mm-hmm. makes, it, like, furthers that divide, because, like, you, like, no one tells you what they got, but you look around and, like, look at the prizes, you can tell what everyone else got, and, like, mm-hmm. you feel worse about yourself, and I feel like, kinda like being, like, um, blatant about it, yeah, like, I mean, just takes away that like, He wasn't so a bad was teacher, that, that was the thing. Yeah, it's not quite <laughs> He was a great teacher. He's actually one of my favorite math teachers ever. It's just like the way he set that up yeah, you know. to try and make sure that the kids pass the standardized yeah, test yeah. Same was not necessarily the most beneficial. Well, I remember, I think we were practicing for the Wassel. I think it was like third grade. And we were going through like the practice questions. And I was talking about like a cat and what a cat's tongue is used for. And I love <laughs> 
Well, like, is it like a comb or is uh-huh. it like like a brush or like a brush or it's like sandpaper, something like that? Like, what that was the purpose? And I, I was talking about like to lick themselves with sandpaper. Oh, yeah, the purpose. <laughs> I think about like a feeling. Oh, no, the purpose of it. Like, is it is it more like um like is it like soap or a brush or is it like like a hairbrush? Uh-huh. And I remember oh, like. Wow. Right? Like uh, there's multiple correct yeah. answers and the teacher and I answered it. She's like, actually, like you know, yes, but technically the correct answer is this. And I was so distraught, like I answered a question wrong in front of the whole class in the third grade, I'm not gonna pass this test. Because okay. there's yeah. multiple correct answers. Yeah. I'm so, so frustrated. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, does anyone have anything else to add to the discussion? Any mm-hmm. final words? I don't think so. Tasha should make more chips. Yeah. <laughs> I'll try to make them better next time because those ones are way too chewy. I was like, hmm. I thought they were good. They're good and delicious. Okay, you so it on your face. Whip it off. Okay. No, actually, do <laughs> not. <laughs> okay, bye. Become more a part of them. It, like, even if it's a young age, that language is still going to like develop. And if the parents want that to continue, like they can speak with them at home or they can do other. They, there's other measures yeah. that they can take for that. And like, I think that it. I'm trying to think which one, if any, have um, both languages all the way through. But I just feel like it becomes a thing where you are going to be doing the majority of your yeah, yeah. Pair with research. And yeah. it's hard because, you know, maybe it depends on the subject, but a lot of people, even given, you know, research, you know, it's like the here's 99 studies that show that vaccines don't cause mm-hmm. Down syndrome and autism in kids, and here's yeah. what that does. They're like, yeah. oh, thank you. Okay, that's and they and pull out the one that goes, yeah. The one. And so, and I feel like it, it doesn't matter. Well, I mean, it, it can matter, but it doesn't matter how much facts and evidence that you show and support this. Because I, you know, it's the same thing with like theater, showing like, hey, we need theater and arts in schools because it benefits students' education, and yay, it's awesome. Mm-hmm. But same thing, you know, with bilingualism, like, this is really beneficial. And they'll, you know, they'll grab the one study that shows, like, oh, this is actually a bad idea. Yeah, exactly, yeah. I also, I guess this kind of relates. I have a question for you, Abby, about the... Well, like, about his chest slash stomach. And uh, they didn't want to perform surgery on him. They didn't want to save his life because of this, like, this is huge. I, I remember that one, yeah. And, like, swastika. they did, but, I mean, of course, like, it got messed up or anything. And she purposely messed it up. Purposely messed it up. Not saying we should do this. Teachers. But, like, that issue comes along, you're like, okay, like, this person believes this. I really don't want to help them or save yeah. them. You have to put your yeah. difference to the side. Also, you, with this story about um, the black and white student and the black student punch him, you were saying, like, safety is first. Mm-hmm. And so the black student did punch the white student. And, like, how do you address that? Because you know the white student was, like, egging him. Yeah, it's, it's, it's on both of them. Yeah, both both. Yeah. yeah, because one person was physically hard, but another person was deeply emotionally hard. Yeah. yeah. And it's like neither to say what, and they are like well off and everything. Then their children, you know, might be a little more adjusted. So I think it just depends yeah. on the situation. Mm-hmm. Well, and we were kind of talking about this last night in our four thirty two class. Mm-hmm. You know, what should general or American language like be taught? Is that like a thing that we should really yeah. be emphasized? And we um, something that we came, my group came up with is like. Um, um, like the vocabulary of the language should be taught because that's what's going to make them successful, and that's kind of and but you don't want to de emphasize like their culture and yeah. their language. So, yeah. we're kind of uh, so it's kind of a balance of this is really important for you to be successful mm-hmm. and culturally sensitive, cul- yeah, yeah. But is and, it possible to take away culture from a language, like you're saying, just teach the basics of English, but even the basics, our culture is in there, yeah. Um, and so I feel like it's impossible to teach a, a child English and not teach them some of our culture. Yeah, I think maybe find I, what I would try to do is find similarities between the cultures. Mm-hmm. Um, like, um, I was teaching these students the word chair. They didn't understand how to pronounce the ch sound. Mm-hmm. And so I said, it's like the cha-cha. They knew cha-cha. So it's all where they're from and why that mm-hmm. can shape who they are in it. And yeah. I just found it really inspiring watching the movie. Like, yeah. how these kids went from not wanting to participate in school at all yeah. to... Like one girl talked about how she just stayed up all night. It was the first class that she'd ever like yeah. devoted that yeah, much time to. Yeah, there was like one guy who was like, "This is so cool! Like I would go home and research even yeah. more about what we were talking yeah. about." Yeah, and my girl's mom was like, "She never used to talk to me about school, but now she comes home and tells me everything that she learned that yeah. day." Yeah, yeah. I think that's so important for um, you know parents and their kids because I found this cool thing on Pinterest that's like you know 